Well, it's Monday morning and I'm out here in my garden and I'm about to harvest my acorn squash. There's one. Um, the vines look like they're dying down. That's a small one. I don't know how well that one will do. But that's that was two. Here's three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I might leave the smaller ones and just get the bigger ones for later. Y'all don't judge my garden. We've gone through drought, now heavy rain, and the squash is looking pitiful, but look at the okra. Was gone this weekend and didn't get a chance to get out here and get the okra. But uh, the okra is doing really well, as you can see. I got a lot of picking to do, cutting to do, and I'm probably gonna pull up those poor old squash plants, get that out of the way. Maybe leave the only squash plants that are still looking somewhat okay. Y'all, I'm by no means a seasoned garden, gardener, but I did try. And I have been successful with some things. Uh, the weeds, I'm very successful at. But I'm going to go over here and look at... The spaghetti squash and I hope the guy that has a gardening channel will see this and give me some pointers as when to pick them so yeah there's oh the squash it's still producing even though they look bad they're still producing oh goodness gracious okay I never got around to stalking my tomatoes. So yeah, they're laying on the ground. And uh, I'll be out here picking tomatoes too. I will never do Roma tomatoes again. I don't know if I'll do tomatoes or not, period. Look at that zucchini. That's an overgrown zucchini there. So yeah, I'm probably gonna get out here and uh, pull up some plants. And when it dries, we'll probably get the tiller mower out here. And this was a volunteer tom tomato. I did get that one kind of staked up. That came up from last year. But there's a spaghetti squash right there. Here's another spaghetti squash down there. And there is a big one right here. But it's not yellow yet. Like, that's just a pale. This one's smaller, but looks more yellow. I really thought I had more than three. There's one, two, three. I think there's another one around here in the grass somewhere. Or well, maybe three is all I had. I was really thinking it was more than three. But that's all I see. So yeah, I will be out here pulling some plants up and trying to uh, get this garden in a little bit better shape. It's going to be a busy week as I've got four cleanings to do. So today is my only day to get out here in the garden and uh, get some things picked. And the beans are doing really good. I picked as many as I could before I left Friday for the weekend. So I do have a load of beans out here I'm going to have to pick. Beans I do well with. I'm going to have to get a better system so far as um, staking them up too. But they have done really well this year, as my beans always do. And those zinnias, oh my goodness. 
I have probably have more zinnias out here than I do anything. I'm a very good green thumb when it comes to zinnias because they come up without me doing anything to them. Let me go ahead and get this squash. Ouch. That's a nice squash. Nice squash. So yeah, this is just a little, and look at the blooms on that. That's just a little bitty plant. But that one bit the dust. The field peas over here did good. And this was another volunteer green bean so I was able to get that one staked up but I still have a few field peas left that I'm gonna have to come out here and get before they go to seed so I got a lot to do I just wanted to do a short video so I can get this posted and hopefully the guy will see it and give me some tips on um, the spaghetti squash and anything else he wants to as well okay me and Allie are gonna get at it see y'all